Hi everybody, here I am in Toronto and um, I'm just so honored. Uh, we just unveiled the uh, We Are Visible mural. Uh, and here I am with Jody, who runs uh, Project Winter Survival, um, and Kendra, who's the artist um, who made all this happen. Uh, this is amazing. I mean, uh, this is the perfect combination of community because it had law enforcement, the Toronto police unveiled it. The Toronto police played a big part in this from the 140 conference. Um, and you have art and then you have youth and you have activists and nonprofits and the community and media um, and, and businesses. And businesses. I mean, it, it, that's how we affect real change. So tell me briefly about Project Winter Survival. Uh, Project Winter Survival came about 12 years ago when I heard as a business person that people were freezing and terrible stores were happening on the streets and that's ridiculous. So I mobilized the business community and said, start donating. Um, bargains group suppliers, if I buy 50,000, will you give me an extra 5,000 for a project? And this is what happened. And we started to build these survival kits because we had a connection to the frontline social service agencies. And we also recognized that we aren't the experts as, as business people people who run these homeless agencies they know what they're doing and they know who needs these kits so we come together as a community make these kits happen now we're bringing it into a bigger level three banks in the last month have signed on to wow. be champions wow. and we're going to go national so that nobody should have to freeze on the streets of canada and, and they get it not only does you know the kids have socks and sleeping bags and blankets and food and water and I mean 30 items that's amazing I mean a lot of people give out hygiene kits that are just toothpaste and that's all great and everything but you get it and I was so impressed because when you were telling the media uh, you were talking about the importance of a bag you know, it has bag, to be, yeah. it has to have something to carry, and that the bag has to have a string. And well, it has just, to have a string because there's also a lot of theft on the streets, right. right? So, and it has to have a bag with two or three handles because people have to be able to put their arms through. So, that if they do get one of these bags and they're sleeping, no one's taking it away from them. Wow. Yeah. And and it has to have this and something that they do want so that they don't get hawking it for yeah. something they shouldn't. So there's a lot of thought and expertise that goes into this kit. Yeah. So tell me, tell me about your art here. I mean, I'm totally impressed just not only by the quality, but you painted on brick. Yeah, yeah. Um, the art is pretty much the portraits that you took after the videos that you've done. And um, we use, instead of trying to figure out who we wanted to paint on the wall, we use different types of people, like families and uh, a veteran. We use a visible minority, um, a young woman. So we, we decided to make it about more uh, Putting a face, right? We're, we're using visual art to kind of bring awareness to the Behind them uh, is different kind of sceneries like uh, Tent City, and then we got uh, the bridge uh, and the city skyline, right? To kind of represent where we're talking about. And, and, and tell me, I mean, briefly about how uh, you've changed on your views of homeless and homeless people. Um, I, I ignore them a lot. I, I didn't really put too much thought into them. I'm more now conscious, right? I'm not more aware of what they're going through. and I want to help more. I basically don't ignore them or walk past them. I realize it is something I should pay attention to. And, uh, How did that happen? Uh, after uh, meeting you, definitely. Watching the videos that you do, um, I, I came to tears on a couple of them, and it's so hard. I, I watched 40 to 50 hours of it straight, yeah. and I still constantly go look at the stories. And they're, they're, they're ridiculous. And that's what really hurts. Is they're they're very normal. They're very they're great people that just had good luck. Yeah, just whatever the case and, may be, they went through it. So there's people that we've like, I've got suppliers, presidents of companies who've called me from the shelter in the last 12 months too, and said, I didn't get why you, why you cared so much, why you weren't busy making money, now I get it, right. thank you. Right. And they've turned around, so once you've had a taste right. of it. Well, I, I just gonna end with the challenges is we, we need more, we need more project winter survivals, we need to do more uh, events and uh, community where art and law enforcement and nonprofits and everybody gets together um, and 
you know, I also want to challenge you as, as an individual because, you know, here I was going through a financial crisis of my own, still in that financial crisis many years ago, three years ago, and started InvisiblePeople.tv, just empowering other people to tell their own story. And the change and the, uh, the real tangible change that's being seen, you know, in places like Toronto uh, is amazing. Uh, and uh, if I can do it, you can do it. So whatever cause is in your heart, um, there's a lot of social crisis in this world. Pick one and let's start fighting.